the two members of the cast, what exactly are the roles you play in the story? And then my other question is for your direct Yam Laranas later. So, Jego, what is your role in the movie? Okay, po. Uh, Kuya Mario. Ako si Alonzo, and I am a student of um, a posh high school. And um, you won't know much much about the background ko about uh, where I live, who I live with, or um, me at the school. It really, the story really just circles around yung relationship namin ni Christine and si AJ. And it just shows me being um, a loving boyfriend and the perception of the relationship through my eyes. So actually, yung character ko, if I were to explain explain it to you, iba yung character ko sa perception ko kasi sa perception ng iba. But I don't want to give too much away kasi it might give away the story. So, okay. Si AJ. Hello. Ako po dito si Christine. Uh, studyante din po. Um, playful, sweet, and love na love na si Jego. I mean, si Alonzo. And yun po. Okay, mm-hmm. hey, Kim. Obviously, there are only four characters in the movie. Si AJ, si Jego, uh, the forest ranger played by Arnold Reyes, and the farmer who is played by... Ano, sino yung actor na yun, Derek Kim? Uh, his name is uh, Raul Morit. Raul Morit. And uh, yeah. it reminds me, obviously, the structure you were inspired by Akira Kurosawa's Rashomon. Am I right? Yes. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Tito Mario. Thank you so much. Uh, there's okay for everyone's information. There's a fifth character, uh, na hindi pinapakita sa mm. screen, and it's played by our uh, a great actor, si Sol Cruz. Si mm. Sol Cruz played played uh, off screen. Uh, kahit gaano ako tempted, hindi ko siya pinakita on screen. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for that note. It's an inspiration uh, because um, I kaya nga siya naging mystery love story because we wanted to find what what the truth is, what is Diego saying, what is uh, the character of AJ saying, and 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 then based on their love story, which is so sweet. Here comes these two characters, the forest stranger and the and the farmer. Who are parang parang ito yung ng gulo sa love story nila and who's telling the truth? Now we have to find out mm-hmm. and at the same time, um, it's also inspired by uh, yung yung beauty ni AJ, yung beauty ni AJ and his, her innocence uh, was also inspired by uh, a Bergman film, which is yung uh, Virgin the Virgin Spring. So the Virgin uh, Spring, the Virgin Spring, yes, yes, po. Uh, kasi um, kasi the innocence of of AJ. And the innocence of Diego, um, their love story will clash with the with the strangers around them. Yun yung kwento na yun. Um, alam mo tuwa ko Diego kasi parang the last time we had this parang press con before encounter pa yung parang you were reintroduced some some somehow parang reintroducing yourself again no so parang oh. um ano yung mga lessons or yung mga parang bagong aral na bitbit mo ngayon sa parang considering parang your second wind or second chance in the industry? Um, madami. Pero parang I can sum it up in an easier way na seryosohin ko lang talaga. Uh, mas focus ako ngayon sa ginagawa ko. Alam ko ngayon yung dapat mong gawin at hindi dapat gawin. So, sa tingin ko, baka last time na to na ma-introduce ako as the new <laughs> heartthrob. <laughs> eh, medyo matagal na ako dito. But um, I understand naman kung bakit ganun yung introduction sa akin. Kasi nga, it's a second wind. It's a comeback. And I just have to make sure na I keep on doing my things right. And, you know, tuloy-tuloy na. Yeah, and the uh, quick sundot lang bago ako pumunta kay uh, Direct Yam. How was it working with AJ lang? Saya, saya. Ang magaling si AJ at saka madali siyang makasama kasi uh, walang ere si AJ. She's the kindest person, one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. And uh, it was, it's, this is a difficult role to play as an artist if yung partner mo hindi nag-open up or um, may walls or may barrier. And si AJ naman, she, of course, mas inaalalain ko si AJ bilang siya yung babae. Pero she also didn't make it hard on me na 
alamin kung okay ba siya or if hindi siya comfortable gawin to mga to or sabihin to mga ganyan. So, um, natutuwa ako na si AJ yung nakasama ko kasi it wasn't it wasn't difficult uh, for me ah for me I'm, I'm speaking from my own ano, percep- perception na we didn't have difficulties with some of the scenes and um, we got along naman as as uh, co-actors so it was good um AJ just wanna react on that Yes, same bit po. Mabait si Jeko. Uh, hindi siya mahirap katrabaho kahit matagal na siya sa industry. Uh, lagi niya akong ginaguide sa lahat ng mga Excel. Alright. And Direk Yam din, same. And speaking of Direk Yam, Direk Yam! Um, Hello! Ang interesting nung inyong trailer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> parang ang sarap, ang sarap na ng panoorin. Actually, direct parang ang sarap panoorin nito in full cinema glory. Yes. Like yes. in a movie yes. house. Well, oh, oh. Ako, ako, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I believe, I believe right now because nagbago na lahat eh. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I wish na mapanda natin sa sinihan. But, but, uh, naniniwala kami ni na AJ and Diego and of course, you know, Viva Max and, you know, Viva Films that, Um, wag mo lang panoorin sa Apple Watch mo. <laughs> Matutuwa ka sa movie. <laughs> Matutuwa ka sa movie. You will really, you will really, you are in, you are in, uh, there's a roller coaster in store for for everyone to, to you know, to, to see. Uh, it's a new kind of, um, you know, genre that I'm, that I'm tackling. And luckily, I'm, I've worked, I'm working with both Diego and AJ. Right. Uh, you know, Actually, Actually, direct na, parang na-imagine ko na nga yung parang Dolby experience, yung tipong naririnig ko yung galaw ng da, yung ingay ng dahon. Yung yes, parang very, yes, yes, very, yes. very Blair Witch Project kind of yes. feel, parang ganun. Kaka, good question, kasi kaka, kaka-polish ko lang ng mix, no? In fact, in fact, sa, siguro mga one month na ako nag-mix and kanina lang yung final polish. And you you have a good insight kasi ganun talaga, ganun kailangan ganun eh. Ganun ka detail and ganun ka um ang ang, ang ano nga eh, what is a mystery love story, di ba? And what is what is this? So there are so many emotions fighting here and then and then everyone will be in for a surprise. Everyone will be in for a surprise talaga. All right. Hi, hello everyone. My first question is for Jego and AJ. So, since the movie Death of Her Girlfriend is about a relationship, so how do you handle a relationship personally? Is it something na parang medyo possessive kayo or parang um, uh, chill-chill lang kayo? Okay. Ladies first. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, AJ. Um, how do you handle relationship personally? Um... Uh... Sa boyfriend ko, siguro ano po, uh, maluwag po ako na tao. Pinibigay ko po lahat ng trust ko sa kanya. Um, hinahayaan ko siyang gumimix, mama sa mga friends, nahayaan ko siya magsaya. And maalaga po. So, yun lang po. <clears throat> okay, how about you, Jago? Okay. <laughs> uh, tough question, actually. Kasi ako feeling ko na relationship, um, It's never always the same. Parang if you start off na the easy easy kayo, and then at some point it might become very possessive, and then easy easy again. It it's always a constant push or pull of both. So it's finding the balance, siguro of of both. Shempre kung yung isa possessive, tasi yung isa easy easy lang. Parang um, you reciprocate the same energy that's given to you. Eh. So. Kahit nung una, limpawa, hindi ka seloso. Tapos, <laughs> eventually, magiging seloso ka rin. Or uh, vice versa. Yung babae naman, hindi selosa, pero nagiging seloso din. So, it's a constant push and pull. But yung importante is, you're always there to assure one another na hindi dapat maging masyadong ganto or dapat i-coordate ang mga bagay na to. You're always there to support and reassure. Alright, thank you guys. My second question is for Derek Yam. Hello, Derek. Hi. Um, yes. Um, since parang you've been in this industry for so long na rin, ano, like... Sobrang tagal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like parang mga late 1990s to early 2000s. So since, since 11 a.m. <laughs> Joke lang. Yeah. So di ba parang before sanay kayo na madaming tao while doing the film, 
and then hindi ganun ka contain new yeah. environment yeah. and then yeah. parang hindi ganun kadaming restriction so how was your transition in doing or working yeah. on a new normal let alone this for your uh, new film so what is the challenges na hinaharap mo on doing this film yes thank yeah actually bernard uh the my history talaga is i'm a a, 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 a viva baby you know i started viva and i moved to other uh, movies and and did stuff um i i'm very proud to say that ever since kasi i always work lean so sobrang liit ng team ko i don't like na ang dami daming tao sa set and then i always like to work 12 to 14 hours lang in a day since the 2000 since 2001 Unless pag may gabi, I always do that. And then to me, uh, the pandemic helped because yung lahat ng tao sumusunod. So <laughs> I'm happier for that. But uh, I'm glad that you know uh, that parang because also tech, because also of uh, technology, mas ko konti yung tao na kailangan or mas ko konti yung tao na nandun sa, sa set. And then everything is faster right now. So uh, to me. I, I, I would never kumbaga, trade this uh, technology with you know whatever I've had before. So uh, even if you ask an AJ and the dear Insela Diego, always two cameras, always magkasunod sa kanila. And 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 care for me, naging mas continuous yung acting ng dalawa. Okay, thank you, Derek, and good luck. Po thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, Bernard.